and Hewlett Road. One of them is carrying officers. Developing this morning in North St. Louis County, police are searching for the suspects who were involved we in a large fight at a McDonald's. A teen was taken to the hospital after the feud, and it was all yeah. caught on camera. Only First Alert 4 is hearing from the 15-year-old victim. Cameron Bob is live where it happened this morning with the latest on the investigation. Cameron. Yeah, good morning, and we will show part of that video here in just a moment, but we do want to warn you it is graphic. To give you some context first, though, we're right near 367 and Parker here in North St. Louis County. It was at this McDonald's right behind me, specifically the drive through lanes back there that police say that fight really escalated earlier this week. The teen victim an employee here telling us she was stomped on by a grown man. I just want him in jail and charges to be pressed. I just was trying to protect myself at the moment. Yeah, that teen victim speaking only to First Alert 4 there. Now, she is okay, but again, the video coming up here might be hard to watch. Here is that moment captured on the cell phone. No, it won't. This is like, if you go through your Twitter timeline, you'll see like 10 of these a day. This is not hard to watch. This is normal to watch. This is typical, unless somebody gets like their fucking head split open and like somebody eats their brains. This is nothing different than any other thing. Step beyond the normal savagery. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it was like a bunch of gladder kids jumping on a sun kid, then yeah, that'd be Oh, yeah, crazy. that would be, yeah. Yeah, that would be Yo. crazy. Is okay, oh, but again, the watch. video coming up here in North County. Lynch tells First Alert 4, several customers were being One rude. thing about sun men, man, they can bash a woman's head in in public. Like, no one, like, listen, man, I'm I've been everywhere, man, racially, demographically. Yo, that you was damn near don't see on burritos and white men doing that in public. Now, yes, we know behind their walls with their spouses and shit, we know that happens. We all watched cops when we was kids. That's where the term white beater comes from. We get that. I'm talking about in public beating women like with that much ferocity as we saw last week in New York with all the women claiming they were getting punched in the face by sun turds. You ju I'm telling you, I've been a lot of places, man, and I've never seen an Asian man do that. I've, I don't think I've ever seen an on burrito do it publicly. I've worked in Langley Park as a security guard at a strip mall for a year. I had a car and everything. They had a little security car, and I would have to ride it around the fucking neighborhood and shit. And that's little fucking Tijuana. And I never saw anything like that. I saw drunk little fucking, fucking on, on burritos fighting each other and milling around and being drunk and shit. But I've seen so many sun men beat the shit out of women in public or assault women in public. That's the part I'm talking about. I'm talking about publicly. Yeah. I think I signed on Brito once when I was 14. When my guy, he beat his girl. But I was like 14 that I can remember a long time ago. Yeah, yeah sun, but it's rare. Sun men beat they bitches up, bro. You got like twenty dudes around in the circle. Ooh. No, but they be. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about a random woman. Right. Oh yeah. Well, that too. Yeah, we don't. Oh, we don't really yeah, discriminate. Yeah, you know, a fifteen year old <laughs> oh, girl at McDonald's. Shit, it don't matter. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen an Umbrito do that personally. Actually. Her. Yeah, a random woman just beat her. Like now, listen. I know Umbritos will run up and squeeze some random woman's ass and shit. To be lecherous. We see stuff like that. But I'm talking about like in front of a bunch of people. Like there's two women right here. Two adult wow. women right here. And we're not talking about smacking <laughs> a woman is... in the face, you know, in public. Yeah. Like uh, we're talking about grabbing a woman by her weave yeah. and curb stomping her into the blacktop outside of McDonald's. Look at this picture. Look at this picture right here. It's like fucking incredible. <laughs> and these incredible. women, these women are not going to be like, hey, that's a woman. That's a girl. They're just like, whatever. Like, whatever. Like, listen, man. 
listen, listen, look. And he can hold his head high. Like, he doesn't have to wear shades and, like, you know, have his, you know, fucking shades drawn and shit and wear the fucking, you know, mustache and glasses little thing. <laughs> he could probably still hit. He could go outside with his head held high in any black neighborhood wow. and not even think about, like, the, the odds of somebody saying, hey, man, I don't like what you did, man, is like zero. Slim to none, yeah. It might the be a shooting. Yeah, the only way somebody would say something to him is if he was a cornball or some, like, that would let you know he would, whether you're a cornball or not, if somebody approaches you about this. That's not her family member. Let's put it like that. Somebody who's not her family member or a boyfriend or one of her shooters that she got on deck. Because, yeah, they would say something. But I'm just talking about, like, a brother being like, hey, brother, I, we saw what you did on that video the other day, man. <laughs> that was wrong, man. Like, you know, that we ain't to protect our black here. women. Evening here in North County. Lynch tells First Alert 4 several customers were being rude and loud after pulling up to get some food. So she told them to come inside if they wanted to place their order. That is when those... Hold on, man. Time out. You got some rude and loud sons outside of your business. And as and because they being rude and loud, you're going to demand that they come inside? Yeah, she deserved her ass whipped for that judgment. <laughs> that was terrible judgment. I have a feeling it may have been worded and not, and not exactly that way. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say, I don't think she was like, will you please come inside? I can't hear you. No, but here's my thing. You got a problem, you got a problem when you see me inside. I'm see you at you the register. Oh, hold on, let me stop y'all there. Let me stop y'all there, because there's another thing that y'all doing. Yo, she could have said, might thouest please exactly. enter the building. Exactly. <laughs> I request of thee that thouest partake <laughs> of entering the double domicile <laughs> for exemplary service at your request. <laughs> And right. they would have still beat her ass, man. Yeah, Get the exactly. fuck out of Come here, man. Right. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Welcome, brethren. <laughs> Yo, man. You got to be careful with that, man. When those customers started swinging, we're told even spitting on at least four workers before <sighs> taking the fight outside. They was getting loud. And she spit on, they spit on four workers. And that's her fault because she made wow. them come inside. Yo, you, listen. That's what I always tell you. If a son man is, is 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 if you approach the line at Walmart and it's a son man and you and y'all both come in line at the same time, go ahead, son man. Go first and get the fuck out of my life forever, quickly. Don't be like, man. I was here first, man. You gotta stand behind me while I punch my pin number into this machine, and and you seize with anger over the disrespect I just gave you. Now you must die. Me to my car. <laughs> like, what? Let that motherfucker go and get out of your life ever. <laughs> right. Now you must die. <laughs> County Lynch tells First Alert Four several customers were being rude and loud after pulling up to get some food, so she told them to come inside if they wanted to place their order. That is when those customers started swinging. We're told even spitting on at least four workers before taking the fight outside. They was getting loud and doing the most and being obnoxious in the drive through. So we said, if you wanted to get your order took, come inside. That's nasty. How would you like if somebody was to spit order. on you? And then he lunged towards me and told me that he was going to punch me. The owner punched and operator. Damn, he punched her too. He punched a couple of sisters. You know, this McDonald's. <laughs> Think about this. You a grown man and you just go into a McDonald's and punch a bunch of little girls, man. Punch a gang right. of underage teens. That no, don't so work. And, and think about it. You can hold your... Yo, there's nowhere he can't go. It can't be like... There's no consequence for this at all to his social standing, to his... um. His rank, his whatever you want to call it, whatever the word is for it, 
it takes what do they call it in China, the credit score. His son credit score <sighs> takes zero. I'm talking about zero hit. Now, does he get credit for it though? Or does he get like because <laughs> yeah, he wild out? Yeah, he wild yeah. out. Yeah, he's crazy. He wild, but that nigga good play, credit increase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no so we said if you wanted to get your order took come inside that's nasty how would you like if somebody was to spit on you and then he lunged towards me and told me that he was gonna punch me the owner and operator of this mcdonald's sent us a statement saying quote ensuring the safety of both our employees and customers is paramount we have a strict workplace violence policy my team is fully cooperating with the St. Louis County Police in their investigation. Now, County PD tells us they are continuing their search for suspects this morning. In addition to that man that appears to have smashed Lynch's head into the ground, they say they're also working to learn about any more potential victims and witnesses. Live in North County, Cameron Bob, First Alert 4. Tough details there this morning. All right, thank you, Cameron. And you have uh, tweeted in the past about supporting defund the police the police, which is uh, something that uh, I think perhaps some people in the Black Lives Matter movement support, but also this tweet from back in 2015, the KKK, the police and government officials are one in the same. I wonder, do you stand by that comment? Absolutely. And thank you for having me. Um, I want us to understand the history of policing in this country. And so Twitter doesn't allow you to give a whole history of policing. Yes, it does. You can make as many tweets as you want. In this country, but in a few sentences, we can just confirm that there is no historian that I've ever come in uh, contact with who disputes the fact that policing in this country hails from slave catching. And so when we say that policing is, you know, the new millennial slave catch. Now, here's my thing about that. So, but the implication is that when gliders were homogeneous, they didn't need police because they only invented them when they shared it, began sharing their, their space with sons. Hard to fathom how that could, how it could make sense <laughs> to anybody. Well, well, you're saying the quiet part out loud. <laughs> And she and when she says that she doesn't even know that she can't even make that own connection. Oh hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no exactly. Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! But so gliders were just living in these societies where you just the honor system or whatever the fuck they used. I, they didn't need police. That's so. First of all, it's not true, but the implication she's making in her subconscious. Right. Maybe Tom to Sowell had it wrong. Maybe we learned the degeneracy from <laughs> brothers, and then that's why we needed police to first get them, but then also to get the degenerate Irish and shit that learned bad behavior from some people. Yeah, man. This is crazy, man. They don't even know what the fuck they're saying, which is they have so much power for a group of people that doesn't know what they're saying half the time. Yeah, they need to chill on these Irish people, too, because, like, Irish people have, like, multiple Nobel Prize winners in their group. What the fuck have sons ever done? Like, <laughs> Only on six, after nearly eight months of pain and a fight for justice, the mother of a 13-year-old girl who was shot and killed in North Lauderdale in August says her prayer... This nigga shot this Bro. little girl. God. In That's a fucking <laughs> proto-human. That is a proto-human. God Wait, damn. Lion. What is it with the, like, eight-year-old girl haircuts, too, on these dudes? Oh, DB? That's Kodak Black. That's how they do in Florida. They call it the free form. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's true. Yeah. Yo, this nigga shot this girl and lived for eight months in the community. Well, probably uh, anybody who knew knew he did it. And it took white men to come fucking get him and bring him to justice. Only on six, after nearly eight months of pain and a fight for justice, the mother of a 13-year-old girl who was shot and killed in North Lauderdale in August says her prayers have finally been answered. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Trina Robinson. Broward deputies have announced the arrest of a 22-year-old man named Christopher 
charged with manslaughter, NBC6 reporter Ryan Nelson spoke to the victim's mom who said she finally feels a sense of relief. It's an interview you're going to see only right here on 6. Lolita Caddis vividly remembers the moment she learned her 13-year-old daughter, Samaya James, was shot and killed. I just felt like I felt when I got that news, I literally felt out. My daughter had to pick me up and like put me inside a car because I was so, I was out of it. Just screaming, yelling, crying, like I just can't imagine that my daughter was gone. It all happened in August when police were alerted to shots fired around 1040 p.m. near Southwest 12th Court and Southwest 74th Avenue in North Lauderdale. BSO says deputies raced to the scene where they found 13-year-old Samaya suffering from a gunshot wound. She was rushed to the hospital. In public, you shot in public. This is something that happened in public. Found 13-year-old Samaya suffering from a gunshot wound. She was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. James was getting ready for seventh grade when her life was cut short. It's been more than seven months since Caddis last saw her daughter smile. Because she was just there with me that same day, that same day she was home with me. You know, I got to cook for her, got to tell her that I love her that same day that she left me. So it really hurted me deep down, you know, and, it, and it's still hurting me and I'm still in pain. I'm still grieving over my daughter. Deputies say they've been searching for the person who pulled the trigger ever since the night of the killing, following a trail of clues and evidence. They say they've finally made an arrest, charging 22-year-old Christopher Mark with manslaughter with a firearm. I'm so happy. What? I'm so happy that they got the person. I'm not happy because... That one hurt my brain, huh? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I mean, He's not happy because the guy's black and she can't get any money. It's TV just... It's that. just... It's so much, man. It's like this guy shot that little girl in public and just went about his life and just <laughs> kept living until the white man came out. Just sun man things. Just sun man I, things. I promise you they didn't catch him in Mexico or Canada. <laughs> I promise you they caught him in the same neighborhood. I promise you. You know, sleep in his stolen car with his Glock on his lap. <laughs> in his living room, wherever. Oh, oh, I'm going to get that Hey, hey you know, mark this little girl. I'm going to get out of here. Sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Yo, this is a different culture, man. Like uh, a sub. This isn't even a subculture. Because this is because a subculture. Like a proto culture of some sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a culture. <laughs> yeah, man. There's nothing about similar to this than the culture that it would be sub of. It's just like, you know, these people. Yeah, a, a subculture sub is like a perhaps. jock or a, or a nerd. That's a subculture. This is subculture. <laughs> this is different. Uh, Mark with manslaughter with a firearm. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they got the person. I'm not happy because, you know, my daughter is gone because I can't bring my daughter back. But I'm so happy because it's so weight off me because they arrested the guy. Detectives say it all started with an argument between 13-year-old Samaya and people inside of a car on Southwest 12th Court. And the wow. moments after the exchange of words, me. deputies say Mark she shot James serious. and the... So how the fuck well, is this was... manslaughter? <laughs> Think, think about that. Think about it. And he can get a bond. We gotta, we gotta see if he gets a bond. It gets re-released. It, it took them eight months to find him. All these clues, all this struggling, this consternation to find him, and he could literally get out the next day. Yeah, but but Ak, you see, like as gliders, we're at like a passive disadvantage, and and that's because like. Like, look at all the shit the gliders have to do. Like you said, eight months, pouring all these fucking resources. Meanwhile, on the other side of the equation, the sun DNA, it just does what it does normally. Like, it's just a passive, like, acting thing. It has, like, no mind. It just does its own thing. And, yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's, it's well, They wouldn't, it's be, an wouldn't be doing all that shit left to their own device. Like, they we're putting in like... a million dollars, and the DNA is just replicating. Like, it's, like it's, it's not like an even playing field here. And people are complaining about these people are having too many abortions. And it's like, 
Yo, Truth. what the fuck? I can't even lie. That's the thing that makes me pro-choice. Yeah, yeah. conservatives are fucking retarded, yeah. dude. They're so fucking stupid. They're fucking stupid. Yeah, honestly. They're also hopeless. Yo, listen, and listen, man. These people, if they were in a homogeneous area, they would have abortions. It would just be they would have the baby and throw the baby off into the fucking woods and let it die of exposure. That's what we saw in Negroes in Negro Land. They would just abortion, leave yeah. the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. term abortions. So it's not like, I mean, it's a more humane way. Gladys have created a more, uh, what do they call it, a detached way where you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like getting meat at the food market. Yeah, exactly. And and but don't think for a second that they wouldn't have the same amount of abor- post-term abortions if they right. were left alone. For me, because they arrested the guy. Detectives say it all started with an argument between 13-year-old Samaya and people inside of a car on Southwest 12th Court. So she's arguing with people in the car. Wow. And that nigga. Think about the last story. That grown ass man curb stomped that girl in front of all of those people on camera. And then now we have this story where this guy was like, What bitch? <laughs> to a seventh grade girl who pulled out a gun right. and threw her down. It's the most fantastic <laughs> wow. irony of the whole, you know, protect black women thing. Nobody yeah, has a exactly. less of a glimmer of, you know, any inkling of a problem of savage violence against black women than black men. And, and no one engages you, in it more eagerly or with more wild abandon. And, and mind you, when they say that black women have high victimization rates, it's because of systematic racism. Yeah, the white man isn't doing enough to stop this. You said that the other day, Wicked, it ain't nothing about their proximity to brothers. Shit. Detectives say it all started with an argument between 13-year-old Samaya and people inside of a car on Southwest 12th Court. And the moments after the exchange of words, deputies say Mark shot James and the car drove away. Caddis, grateful for the detectives. He said, you know what, Lolita, don't worry. You don't have to keep on calling me. I'm going to get him for you this month. And he did. While she feels relieved there's been an arrest, she says she wanted to see more severe charges. We've reached out to investigators asking why. They're- yeah, like, was it manslaughter? Manslaughter right. with a no, firearm. Fuck no. Fuck no. That's what he's being charged with. with. That's at least at least second. He would even argue first, but man, minimum. Well, he's only twenty-two. You can't ruin his life, right? Yeah, we right. don't want to have two lives here. Yeah, on the yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck his life. Bro. That's I, true. I just can't imagine what that argument looked like. Like, what could this little Greg possibly said? Hey, yo, bitch ass, can you get your fuck. She could have said a lot. She could have said a lot. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't, but I just can't. I just can't wrap my mind around it. Listen, she could have. Listen, listen. She probably embarrassed him. He's 13. I mean, he's 12. He's 22, right? So I'm assuming that the other people in the car were around his age. That she was arguing with. Probably some girls in the car that she was arguing with. She's probably arguing with some older girls. Um. Um, and he just pulls out a gun and boom, boom, blams her down. Dead on the scene. She dies on the scene. They all leave and they just go about their lives because they didn't have any suspects. They had to, they had to do some real police work to get suspects because I remember when we did this story when it first happened. And it's like they just yeah. went on with their lives. Wow. Which I would have done too. But what I'm saying is that like I'm sure most gliders and tigers are like they can't fathom that. You know no, what I'm saying? No. I can't. Yo, hi, can you imagine being in the car like you and three of your glider friends and one of them opening fire on a kid? <laughs> like that, no, man. man. Hell no. No. <laughs> No way. I couldn't imagine them arguing with a kid. 
Right. And like, come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. They would they would have probably thought she had a gun. And like, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, man. Um like, I mean, it's so far yeah. from the realm of possibility that you know. Yeah. Well, what about that Rosenberg chick? I, I was watching. <laughs> That's what, true, what's man. the consensus on her? Is she a glider or an umbrito or a juice crew? Uh, well, yeah, what do you possible think? umbrito. Well, what do you uh, think? In my uh, in my opinion, when I see her face, I'm like She's definitely got some glider DNA in her, but yeah, no, sons are off the hook for that one for sure. Absolutely. Right. So she's a glider, right? I told you. I... She, she, she looked like she could be like a glider from like Latin America though, or like she's there's some juice crew Stop DNA. It. Stop it. She's a fucking glider. And that's that. Still. Uh, nah, she don't have like blonde hair or blue eyes. Like she's not like a, like yeah, a straight up 100%. Her hair was really dark. Yeah. Her hair was pitch black though. So what? Because I'm glad yeah. don't don't have blonde hair, uh, right? Uh, not nah, blonde, but not pitch black hair like, nah, like that. Y'all hair be strandy. Blotter hair is strandy and stringy. Motherfucker oh, on burrito hair is like boom. It's like shoots. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. well, fucking Sicilians. Sicilians got hair. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. But that was a glad thing. I don't give a fuck. That's yeah, on burrito. Man. That's on burrito. Yeah. Either charging manslaughter, and we will be sure to update you. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.